Hi, welcome to my Arduino Toolkit project on controlling stepper motors. Uh, what I've been able to do is use the toolkit to control stepper motors and then use those stepper motors to control an Etch-a-Sketch. And so I'll show you that here in a moment. So here we have the project. Um, first, as you can see, we have an Arduino Uno. And then we also have two Easy Driver stepper motor controller boards from SparkFun. Uh, and so each of those are connected to the Arduino just using two digital pins. There's a, a step pin and a direction pin. And so we're just using a total of four digital outputs from the Arduino. Um, we also have an external power supply that we use to provide the necessary current for uh, powering the stepper motors. Um, each of those controller boards is connected to the steppers by means of this fun cable assembly. Um, and then into uh, this chassis that we're also going to be using to control an Etch-a-Sketch. So here if we look at the block diagram of uh, just an example, uh, example VI, uh, we can see how straightforward it is to use um, both the Arduino toolkit and the stepper motor VIs that, that act as an extension to that. Um, so first, if we look carefully, just from left to right, we can see that in the normal fashion, we're opening our connection to the Arduino. Uh, and then next up, we're opening a connection to our stepper motor. And so in this case, uh, stepper motor number one, uh, we're configuring it to, to be a two-wire pulse and direction configuration, and that's, that's the easy driver uh, motor controllers we're using. Um, it also supports um, uh, two-wire and four-wire H-bridge configurations, as well as using the Adafruit motor shield. Uh, and so our wires are being connected on pin 12 and 11, um, and that's specified here. Uh, and then within the main loop of our program, uh, there's an event structure um, that handles button presses. And so in this case, when we press the OK button, or Start Stepping button, uh, we call one, one VI, and that's the stepper motor right VI. And so it takes a couple parameters, what stepper motor we're talking about, the speed and number of steps we're going, and as well, if there's any acceleration we want to have, well, we can specify that here as well. Um, when that begins to execute, then we move on to a stepper motor to go VI, and that, that effectively is a blocking call, and so it'll wait until there's no more steps remaining um, before allowing the rest of our program to run. And then we close out our connection to our stepper motor as well as the Arduino uh, itself. Here is our stepper test front panel. Uh, and now there's a couple different parameters we have here, including uh, we can set the speed and the number of steps to move as well as the acceleration. So if we just uh, run the VI and hit the start stepping button, we'll see that, uh, sure enough, the stepper motor turns uh, one revolution, so 200 steps, at a rate of 100 steps per second. So it took two seconds to run that. Uh, we, can, we can speed this up a little bit. We can go say, 400 steps per second, uh, run it again. You can see it goes a little bit faster. Uh, if we also increase the number of steps to move to, say, 1,000, and then also let's add uh, acceleration here. So if we were to to set acceleration in the rate of so 200 steps per second, per second, uh, then we can see acceleration at work here. So what I've been able to do then is to create a LabVIEW program that uses the Arduino toolkit um, to control an Etch-a-Sketch. And so there's two primary ways to control the Etch-a-Sketch at this point. Uh, the first is by using G-code, or the language traditionally used to control CNC machines. And then the second way, I'll, I'll show you afterwards, is, uh, is a way to use it uh, via sketching within LabVIEW. So to sketch an image and then have that output uh, on the Etch Sketch itself. And so I have a simulate only mode here so that we can see what we're going to get. This is the result. And so, so in this case, we have uh, some dude's head. And so that's what, it, that's what it will look like. And then if we take a look at running this... Um, in actuality, on the Etch-a-Sketch machine, this is what we get.
So the sketching mode just allows us to sketch the drawing we want to see on the Etch-a-Sketch. Uh, in, in the background within this LabVIEW program, uh, it will be converted to G-code and then uh, deciphered again uh, such that it controls the Etch-a-Sketch. Uh, so let me demonstrate. Uh, I'm going to draw about the extent of my artistic abilities, a badly misshapen tree. And then uh, when I'm done drawing, I hit the Done Drawing button. So that's the project. Thanks for watching. Hope I gave you just a little bit of a taste of how powerful the Arduino can be when used with LabVIEW and the Arduino Toolkit. Thanks again.